Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Alley. This is going to be video number two of a three-part series of the 15 rules for negotiations. Check it out. This will make you a master closer. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. All right, let's get right to it. I'm going to give you five things during this video. Remember, this is a three-part series. This is part two. So if you're catching this video, go back and find one and see number three that's coming. This is important to you. We're going to run six through 10. Guys, take a pen, take a piece of paper. Make sure you're taking notes. It's extremely important. Whatever is written will be retained. All right, number six through 10. Number six, always stay with the buyer guys listen in and out in and out in and out that's going to create what a dead deal rule number six always stay with the buyer and reduce the number of times that you leave the buyer alone look let me tell you this right this is important i'll sit there and watch a car deal be in work salesperson customer asks a question boom he shoots out of the office goes talks to the manager comes back in he goes back in they talk about something boom he's back out Boom, back out. All of a sudden, you know, fourth time in, the customer's leaving. They left the customer alone for too long. And I want you to understand this. The reason why you want to reduce the amount of times that you leave the office is every time you leave. What do you think's happening? Do you think your customers are like, hey, honey, what do you think? I know we came in to pay $400 a month. Man, paying $700 doesn't sound that bad, right? I think we should do it. No! They're not saying that. They're like, look, honey, we talked about paying 400. He's at 700. I mean, look, we weren't really prepared to go that high. I mean, what do you think? I don't know. I don't like it either. I don't like it either. You know what? Wife grabs a purse. Husband says he needs his keys. You come back in. You're like, okay, guys, got great news for you. And then they sit down and say, hey, you know what? We thought about it. Can we get our keys? And you're like, guys, well, what's changed? Man, you keep leaving the office. <laughs> That's what's changed. So rule number Number six, stop leaving so many times. Stay in there with them. Okay, guys, always maintain a positive attitude slash demeanor no matter what. It doesn't matter what they say. They could say something that offends you, that upsets you, that isn't what you wanted to hear. It doesn't matter. Always maintain positive. Why? Because if you decrease your state, if you change your energy down, if you get deflated and they feel that, what does a dog do when it fears that you're gonna, that you're gonna be scared of it? It wants to bite you more, okay? Never, ever change your state. Never change your demeanor. Never change your attitude. Always keep it in a positive, uplifting state. I assure you, it will carry you very far in a negotiation. Okay, guys, here we go. Rule number eight. This is a good one. A lot of you guys don't do this. I don't know why, but check it out. Always treat the buyer like they can afford anything. I'll walk in and I'm listening to a car sales pro talk to his customer and his customer is telling him how they can't afford this or that. And the salesman's like, oh man, you know, you really can't afford it. Listen, they're at the freaking 7-Eleven spending hundreds of dollars on crap. What are you talking about? How can you sit there and say that they can't afford it? They can afford whatever they want. Maybe they need to change up their spending here and there, but I assure you they can afford whatever they want. Treat them like a millionaire. They'll spend like a millionaire. That's what I want you to know. Think about it. If I'm sitting there talking with somebody and I'm like, oh my gosh, listen guys, you make so much money, you could afford a payment three times bigger than this. It's just the truth. You don't have to, but you could, right? So guys, this payment, it's really not that high. And by the way, at the end of the day, you could afford more if you wanted, but you don't have to. Guys, let's do business. I'm just going to tell you, treat people like a million bucks or spend all the money. Your customers can afford anything they want. They can. It's just that you're not treating them like they can. Treat them like they can and they will. Give them the confidence. They need that from you. Okay, guys, here we go. Rule number nine. You guys are gonna like this one. All right, so it's gonna be always agree with the buyer. Never disagree. Never. You know what that means? Your customer's always right. No matter what they say, hey, I totally understand, I completely agree. There can be a however coming behind it, but always agree with them. You guys wanna create friction in your deals? You want to? Disagree with them, I dare you. I hear a lot of salespeople, they know it all. They know it all. So what they wanna do is they want their customers to be aware that they know it all. So when a customer says something, well, I don't agree with that, I think this way. They're like, no, that's wrong. No, 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 no. It may be wrong, but always agree. There's a way to explain that, it's called being a 
master communicate. Communicate with them well that there's other ways to look at it. Listen, life is all about perspective. Maybe the way that they see it right now is from that angle. However, in a moment, when I explain it properly and communicate well, they'll see it from a different way. So don't tell them I disagree. I see a lot of salespeople do that. Don't ever disagree. Always agree and then be great at overcoming the objection. Okay guys, here we go. This is going to be number 10 game changer right here. All right, always smile. Look, write this down. Smile. Always smile no matter what response or objection the customer gives you. I'm going to tell you this, okay? If you're looking to get offended, you'll get offended every day of your life, okay? Great sales pros never get offended. Rejection doesn't exist. I get rejected all the time. It doesn't bother me. Look, if somebody is rejecting me, it's because I didn't present it very well. They didn't perceive what I wanted them to buy, so they'll give me an objection. It's my fault. Own it. Look, you didn't do a good enough job. You didn't build enough value in it. Whatever happened, guess what? You can fix it. But if you get a negative state, right, and you don't smile, do you think it's gonna increase the chances of the deal going down or decrease the chances? It's gonna decrease it. So rule number one, guess what? When people are in a good mood, they're in a good state, what will they do? They'll say yes and buy. But when somebody's in a bad state and they get into a bad mood, what will they do? They'll never say yes. It'll always be a no. So I want you to think about it. What are some ways that you can put it in your best odds for someone to say yes? Smile. Hey guys, I totally understand. I completely get where you're coming from. Completely respect that. Yes, I, I totally get it. However, look, I wanted to show you this. I think you're really gonna like this. And I go into it and I'm smiling. I continue through it and I don't have a negative response. Rejection deflates a lot of salespeople. And when rejection deflates the salesperson, what's the first thing to go? The smile. It leaves, the customer sees that you got triggered and it ruins the negotiation. So never lose your smile. No matter what response or objection you get, never lose your smile. Now, as you're watching this video, you see this nice little closer hat, right? You guys see that? Love America, love the flag, love the closer. If you notice in the middle, it's got a lion, because we're lions. We love to hunt. The day you stop hunting, you're finished. So we hunt every day of our life. I love the closer hat. It reminds me if I can influence, if I can persuade, and if I can close, I can turn a dollar forever in my life and I can always get what I want. Guys, if you want to get a closer hat, you'd like to have one, shoot me a text message, 918-210-0254. I can send you my link to my website. You can buy one. Boom, now you got you a closer hat. Or number two, reach out to me and I can just send one your way. Have an amazing day. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Thank you